Hey guys, this is Courtney, and I wanted to shoot this video right quick and talk about SMART objectives. So for these, for you guys out there that don't um, know a little bit about my background, but um, I am a chemist. I'm a polymer chemist, so I'm in the plastics packaging industry. And at night, I work on my business part time. So today, we were actually meeting with our HR, and we were talking about SMART objective goals and how to be specific in setting your goals instead of being so broad and vague. So for a lot of you guys out there that don't know what a SMART objective goal is, um, it stands for S, which is specific, M, which is measurable, A, which is achievable, R, which is either right now or relevant, and T, which is time. So at work, we were just going over like just some examples and stuff. Like one of the examples one of our HR representatives mentioned was, I want success for 2012, <laughs> which is pretty vague. You know, you have to be more specific, like what kind of success? Like by when do you want to achieve this? And, you know, you got to give yourself a deadline. So I was sitting there, she had gave like some other, other examples that were work related, but I was actually sitting there too, like I could apply this to my business. And some of you guys out there that are watching this now, you could apply this to your business too. So um, something more specific could be, let's see, um, achieve 20,000 in customer sales by October 2013. So that's pretty specific. You know, so that would be your S part. So for your M being measurable, what's the progress that I need to attain to get towards that goal, to complete that goal? So that's where that comes in. At. And then achievable, um, when can I achieve this? Is it possible? Is it, is it even possible for me to achieve this right now? And then R, um, if... R could be the right now or relevant. At work, we use relevant. I hear other people they use right now. Um, so is this relevant now Now in my life? Is this important? Because if it's not important, then you don't need to be doing it. And T, time. Set a deadline. You know, like I just said in the example, October 2013. You know, you want to be specific in your goals to help maximize your performance and not only that, it helps you become more effective and it helps you stick to it. So something broad like, I want to be successful in 2013, that's just too vague. Like I said before, it's too vague. So um, I would recommend applying these SMART goals. I've been at my company now for two years and as, as a working chemist and my SMART objective goals have, have kept me on track. I go over them, I review them, we um, I review them with my manager at work, and I keep on it, and, and I think it's very helpful. And for you guys out there too, you know, business, like I'm in part-time business, for you business owners out there, I think it will help also. And then you have something set in mind, like I want to do, I want to make this amount of money, whether it's money, it could be something else, I want to make this amount of money at this time, that's it. And then basically from your SMART objectives, you start to lay out um, little steps that you that you can take like how would you go about making that money in that set time it could be something as easy as I want to set a marketing strategy I want to use one marketing strategy um, let's say Facebook for instance marketing on Facebook using this amount of time marketing with and this is the amount of sales or this is the amount of signups or the amount of people I want to connect with so I can get to my goal of 20000 per month by October. And, I mean, that's pretty much it. You know, I've set a goal, too, in the past where um, I make sure that I, I sign up two to three customers per day. And I want to make this amount of money by this date. And I literally go over that goal over and over each day. You know, and, and it's good. It's good to keep it that keep it at that instead of something so vague and broad out there. So um, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, please leave me your feedback, your comments. Please share this information. Also, click the link below and join my team. Um, we also focus a lot about a lot on how you can grow your business more. Um, we give out trainings and webinars. Um, everything you need to know about internet marketing, offline marketing, online marketing to help you grow your business. So I hope you guys enjoy it. All right. Thanks, guys. See you again. Bye.